All right, next up we've got a question from Robert in Mabelville, Arkansas. Robert asks, what is the max range I can expect accurate shots comparable to steel or lead ammo? All right, what I think you're asking here, Robert, is what is the maximum range you can uh, expect consistent shots with steel or lead ammo? So really, well, that's a multifold question. Let's just start with the simple physics. Um, if we have two projectiles that are the same diameter and one's made of lead and the other one's made of steel, the one made of lead is gonna be denser, thus heavier, and is gonna have a more pronounced trajectory from the same given set of bands. So uh, that doesn't answer your question about accuracy though, because accuracy is the ability for it to uh, hit the intended target. You're gonna need heavier bands to shoot lead ammo of the same diameter, or you could shoot a piece of lead ammo is a smaller diameter than the steel ammo and where they have both have the same mass and you'll start getting the same point of impact. So the important thing to take away from this is to recognize that a projectile, let's say a, an eight millimeter steel ball and an eight millimeter lead ball are not going to be the same weight. Therefore, from the same bands with the same draw length, all other things being equal, the lead ball is not gonna travel as far without losing um, some of its elevation. As far as potential accuracy goes, both are equally capable of being shot very well, so long as they're perfectly round. So a smooth, well-made steel ball may be better than a homemade cast ball with imperfections as far as ultimate accuracy. But in, when you're getting to that point where you're really getting down to literally splitting hairs with a slingshot, you wouldn't be shooting lead anyway because it will deform and is only good for one shot. So hopefully that answered your question. We appreciate it. Keep them coming.